I think a flower in nature is, is really interesting because flowers need to contrast with their surroundings so the bees can find them or the hummingbirds because that's how they survive. Say a little white flower, or red flower up against a dark green background just really pops and it kind of inspires a way of presenting art that really allows the art to kind of come to the foreground. I feel that architecture should serve art because I think art can be about imagining things without any limitations. And we learn a lot from art because of that. James Terrell is, is an artist who probably influenced me more than any other artist. The idea of, of sculpting light and using actual light as a medium. So architecture can be inspired by art. Then there's architecture that creates an appropriate background for the art. This kind of neutral color becomes the perfect backdrop for pieces of art that might really punch. It's a little bit like framing the painting. The wall is actually an extension of the frame. Then there's art where art becomes the environment itself. A mural or a detail, for instance, in the living room in my apartment, the walls basically wrap the room and they're a mural and you actually feel like you're sitting inside of a painting and actually you are. So sometimes art can take over and the architecture kind of takes second. You know, there's a lot of different ways and nothing's either right or wrong. It just all depends on the situation. And in a way, the whole thing is just endless, just like nature. It goes on and on and on as much as your imagination can think up.